Hey guys, welcome back. This will be the intro for 9.5, our last section for the year. So make sure you get all your assignments done. You're going to have some time after this. You'll have about two weeks after this. And then if you need more time or something, I know these are really hard times for everyone. So please just contact me. I just want to make sure you guys get all your work done, get all your grades done. I'm here for you guys. Just call me if you need anything. Okay. Just email me. We'll, we'll figure it out. If you work, I'll take care. We'll take care of it. Okay. So with that being said, let's just jump into 9.5. Oh, and by the way, if you have any outstanding assignments, just do them. I, I, I don't care about when they get done. You're not going to lose any points. Like I said, this has been a very tough time for everyone. I just want to make sure that you've been doing some math, you've been getting everything done, and then we're ready to go with next year. Okay. So now let's get into what 9.5 is. So far, we've worked on solving x squared functions. Now they come in the standard form of this. AX squared plus BX plus C equals zero. Remember, we called that standard form. Easiest way to solve it, graph it, see where it crosses the x-axis. You won't always have that option. So you had option A. If there is no BX term, so let's say you have any equation that is like AX squared plus C equals, and it could be zero or it could be some other number. So I'm just going to use another variable. I'll call AX squared plus C equals well, I'll leave it as zero just so we can, you'll put it in standard form. Whenever you have an X squared and no X term, you can always solve by doing square root. It's just like solving a regular old equation. Use inverse operations. You always, you can't use that though if you have an X squared and an X. So luckily, what you would have learned through chapter nine, through section nine four, but we didn't have time to do that. Um, there is a formula out there that works for this, okay? It's called the quadratic formula, and it's based on just finding A, B, and C. So we've already worked on how to put things in standard form. I'm going to go over that in this section, and then after that, in the other sections, you'll see the rest of it. So let's say I had 5x squared plus 7x minus 10 equals 2x squared plus 3x minus four. Well, right now I don't have everything on one side, so it is not in standard form. This does not look like that. I want to make it look like that. So I always prefer to move the stuff over to the side that has the positive x squared. You can move it any direction you want. I'm going to move them all in one step. So I look, I'm going to remove the stuff from the right hand side. I'm going to have to subtract two x squared from each side subtract 3x from each side, and add 4 from each side. So now I'm just going to show that step. And when I'm done, my result will be 3x squared plus 4x minus 6 equals 0. Now we are in this form. And what I'm going to go over in the next section is finding a, b, and c. And it's actually real easy. If you look at this, I always do this next to them. You guys remember how I do formulas. A is the coefficient of x squared. So A is equal to 3. Not 3x three squared, just 3. B is the coefficient of x. So B equals 4. C equals negative 6. And that really is going to be your first couple questions on this. Identifying A, B, and C. I'm going to do one more segment in a second. This was just the intro. So remember... This comes from the last section. You have to move everything over to one side. And we want to put it into what's called standard form, which is where you have everything on one side set equal to zero. So here is our introduction to this section. And we'll get into, I'm only going to give you two sections on this. It's going to be finding A, B, and C, and just applying the quadratic formula. And I'll get into those in the next two sections. Thank you. I apologize, you're staring at me for so long again. This is taking forever to get to the stop. Thank you.